of chivalry, isn't it? It is, but we can't have you falling down the stairs, can we? Think of the mess. <laughs> Very thoughtful. <laughs> you're the new one for the top flat, aren't you? Mm. I hope you know what you're doing. They're all mad. Angela's a nut. And as for Marion, well, I don't know what to make of Marion. Where do you fit in? I'm Dee's brother. We live in the flat below with another nutcase, an Australian girl. Oh, you mean Dee Well? That's right. I'm Paddy Wells. Oh, super. We were all at Longford together, Angela, Dee and I. I'm Sally Feathers. Yes, I know. Nice to see you bounding around at the school sports. <laughs> yes, I expect you did. Oh, not more stairs. Last lap. Hey, Angela. I brought your new lodger. Sally! Hello. Angela! Hello. Hello. Hey, you're looking fine. Me too. Well, you've met Paddy. He's very sweet and he's very useful. He works in the rag trade. Is that the only reason you love me? Now, Paddy, darling, you know you're the only real man in my life. Steady or I might call your bluff then. What would you do? Mm -hmm. That'll be the day. Lucky for you, I've got to go now. Bye-bye. Bye. Come and see the flat. It's oh, and thanks. Actually, it's in a bit of a mess. Oh, it's super. From what you said in your letter, I expected some desperate slum with cockroaches, the leaking roof and the lock. Oh, hell, we pay enough for it. Fifteen quid a week. Hey, super hatty. Mm -hmm. Actually, your room's a bit tidier than the rest. It's been empty since we got Elsa married on. Mm -hmm. Come and see it. Mm. Eh. Well, I thought she was never going. And I was, trapped in the wilds. Daddy wouldn't hear of me coming to London till I found a nice girl to share with. <laughs> Thank him for those few kind words. Oh, by the way, that's the kitchen and that's the bathroom. Mm. Oh, here we are. I could have gone in with Sue and Pam, but Daddy wouldn't agree. He says she's the type that's bound to end up a fallen woman or something. Oh, what about me, for God's sake? Oh, darling, you can do no wrong. 
Yes, you're a good sort, not one of those dreadful beatniks all eyeshadow and acorn beads. <laughs> he hasn't seen me lately. And what about Marion? She fell out of her cot and never really got up again. Yes, Penny mentioned her. She's a nice kid, actually, but she's very unlucky with the men. Hey, that's my book. Incidentally, she's got the most infuriating habit of whipping one's stockings and things. Mm -hmm. If she's got a heavy date on, she'll raid all the glad rags, so watch out. Right. Yes, but you're a soft touch. Well, I'll get tough. You do that. Come on. Marion, this is Roger the Lodger. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the sweet life. Big joke. <laughs> oh, what a day. I'm exhausted. What have you been doing? Oh, typing. I hate it. I love this flat. It's so light and the country's so boring. I thought I'd never get here. Ah! Hello, hello. Ah, what? What on earth's going on? I cut my leg with a razor. There's blood all over the place. Have you got any plaster? Hang on, I'll break some out. Sally, come and say hello to Dean. Love to. Tell her I'll donate blood for a price. Hello, Sally. Dean. Oh, oh quick. Oh, 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 what have you been doing? Oh, me or nothing. I'm always doing this. Oh, like listen, <laughs> dear. I thought you were bleeding to death. Oh, I was. I'm sure that razor's poison. Oh, but don't tell Paddy. He goes mad if I use this thing. I heard that. What things do matter you've been using? Nothing. Blood. I can't stand the sight of blood. I say, everybody, I bumped into Miss Australia downstairs with a most marvellous man. Darling. Oh, God, sorry. Oh, what's it? Good old Cobber. She always picks them quick. We must miss this one. Hey, Cobber! All right, all right, there you go. You mind? Tell him to come up. He's smashing. He can't stay. He's got a milk round. Pity I like the car. Hey, we can do with some milk. I think I'll have to get a job with a crazy horse. She seems to meet loads of rich men. Oh, darling, you're getting to sound awfully mercenary in your old age. What else? When I marry, it'll be for love and money. Isn't that romantic? I don't know how Cobble can stand the hours at Vecca. You stand anything for money. You can't borrow your brush, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. She goes on at seven. She's through by twelve. So I'm on the sideline. What else does she do? Uh, takes elocution lessons. She wants to act. Cranky mates, don't do that again. You'll scare him off. Oh, my God, I've forgotten about my hair. <laughs> He's rather dishy. What's his name? Peter. Peter who? Peter E. Type. Come on, darling. Do you know Sally? Hello, Hello Sally. <laughs> Come on, kids. Tea. Oh, oh marvellous. You're a beautiful Patty. Of course I am. I should have been a missionary to the Australians. I don't know what they would have made of you at home, Paddy. <laughs> oh, well, perhaps I'm not cut out for the great outdoors. Anyway, who'd run Problem Corner? Paddy gives comfort to the lovelorn. Oh, fine. But I'm on the career kick. No time for love. Oh, darling, it was fine time. Who's going to keep you when you're too old for modelling? Well, hey, give her a chance. She hasn't begun yet. When did you start model school? 10.30, Monday morning. Hmm. That only gives you tomorrow and Sunday. Well, it's a good thing. I won't have time to get bored. Oh, you are taking Sal to Neville's party, though. Of course. Oh, no, really. I think I'll just unpack and leave about. No, 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 you won't. You're going to come to this party. It'll be smashing. It's a firework party. Mm. Oh, Superman. <laughs> oh, you've got to come, Sal. It's going to be a marvellous party. It is. It's going to be a marvellous party. Hey, be careful. <laughs> Are you going to the party, Paddy? <laughs> I can't, darling. I'm going to stay, but... Oh, do go. Look, I'll go if you will. Oh, very sweet. I can't get out of this other thing, unfortunately. But you're going if I have to deposit you on the doorstep. She never will be. Suit yourself. <laughs> hey, Ted, Serena's looking for you. That's all I need. Ah, who's Serena? Huh? I said, who's Serena? Oh, Serena, she's a girl. Well, I didn't think she was a dog. Actually, she's a bit of a dog. Oh, charming. 
Did you say that about all the girls? No, only the dogs. No, actually, you see, Serena's not here. I just wanted to lose Ted. You did? Yeah. <laughs> well, that should tell me to look after you, you see. Well, I can take care of myself, thank you. Very dodgy characters around here. You might get very afraid. And, of course, there's nothing dodgy about you. Come inside and I'll mark your card. Incidentally, my name's Keith Dexter. What do you do? Oh, how do you do? No, I said, what do you do? Oh, I'm a photographer. Oh, really? Are you any good? Great, my photographer's good too. And you're the sort of chap I've been hoping to meet. Good. I mean, I'm going to become a model. My name's Sally Feathers. Great name, makes you think of Philip Rice. And public houses. Now, you're not one of the four feathers. Incidentally, where do you spring from? I haven't seen you around before. I'm fresh from the country today. Like a new lady. That's right. You haven't got one of those uh, little lions, don't no, you? No, I haven't. Shall we dance? Vogue bit yet. He will. You know all the wrong people, you know. It wasn't Vogue. I was hoping to get you on as a matter of fact. Hey, darling, this is Sally, a friend of Angie's. Hello. This is Prinny, Polish nobility, way back. A uh, long way back, I'm afraid. Well, Keith, what's new? Need a good agent? I'm your man. Don't call me. I'll call you. Come on, let's get to the bar. Okay. See you later. Come, Prinny, it's about as titled as I am. Oh, he looks very aristocratic. Hmm, he's not a work group here. I hear Marion stuck on him, but I gather he treats her badly. He's no gentleman, the prince. Do you know everyone here? Yeah, pretty well. You meet them all up and down the King's Road. Where do you meet Angie? I'm staying at her flat and we went to school together. Not number 48. Hmm. Oh, no, not another one. What do you mean? Not number 48, a right block, that is. What are you talking about? Oh, well, the Australian girl's living there and that tall bitch with the wet brother. Dee Wells happens to be a friend of mine and her brother's very nice. He's a damn sight better manner than you are anyway. Wait a minute, don't take off like a rocket. Well, I'm not standing here listening to you criticizing my friends. Darling, little darling, calm yourself. If I've said something that's made you angry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I really am sorry. All right. Get me a drink then. At your service. <laughs> Dee, you've got to introduce us. I'm dying for a cigarette. Of course. Uh, Nico Starmer or Sally Feathers. Be nice to him as our landlord. Oh, good. Can't you get him to lower the rent? Well, I'm working on it. Now I understand why he came out with me. <laughs> this is a crazy party. The men are either very rude or super. Well, here comes one kind. Now, which kind of what? How the passport photographs. Oh, would you like to be secretary of my family? <laughs> which phone box are they meeting in nowadays? Do you know each other? Oh, yeah, we've met. How do you do? Nico, darling, I want to think about leaving. Whenever you want, darling. Already? Well, these places get a bit much when the word gets right. Mm. Mm. It is getting a bit crowded. We'll make room for some others. We're going to play Shannon. I'm addicted to gambling, and Dee brings me luck. And Shannon, to meet you, Sally. Bye. Bye, darling. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a nice time. She picks him like a water diviner. Now what? I thought he was sweet. Sweet? Shannon makes his money, the rent racket. Let no bloody rotten tell him it's the West Indians. Oh, I don't believe it. Darling, it's true. And your friend Dee knows it. I mean, she's money mad. She'll sit with him every night in the casino. Every time he wins, he'll give her a few chips. She's a shemmy tar. She wouldn't accept money like that. You see that groin on her finger? You don't get rings like that in a working girl's fame. Yes, I did see. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, don't let me catch you dripping with diamonds, eh? Well, what am I doing here with you? Don't top photographers show their girlfriends with diamonds? Oh, sure. Mix cars, the lot, you know? <laughs> Are you going to be a big head when you get on? <laughs> Do you really think I'm a big head? I mean, does it show? Comes out in your dancing. Does it? Come on, I'll have another look. Angie, Peter is Angie. You know, the girls scared you off this afternoon. Oh, I did. Uh, you looked a bit of a witch. Well, I just washed my hair. Don't look like a witch now, do I? No. You were right the first time. She'd been a little further, you'd have seen a broomstick. Oh, charming. You've met my mother, haven't you? Yeah. Hey, look who's Sally's dancing with. Doesn't waste any time. Did they do this out, Mr. Seven? Yes, it was all arranged at the Hunt Ball. Oh, come on.
Should have been a farmer. like a tart. But if you'd like to buy me a sports car or a mini. What about parking meters? Oh, those nasty little men with books and pencils. <laughs> the driving Ted? Nothing to it. I used to drive a tractor in the holidays. OK, I'll buy you a tractor. thing is, I don't want to go to bed with you. Oh, how very disappointing. Thanks. I'll see my doctor about night starvation. Is this why I'm listless and unattractive to men? Uh, don't send me up here, am I? Trying to behave like a gentleman You're once. very decent and terribly British. Oh, uh, good, sir. But I'll tell you one thing. I didn't come to London with that in mind. Even in the country, there's a touch of the sweet life. It's not exclusive. Yeah, London. yeah, but seriously. Yes, yeah, seriously. Don't stop sending me up. No, seriously, I'll stop sending you up. Oh, good. Now, where were we? You didn't want to go to bed with me. No, well, that can't be right. It is. I have it all written down. You'll hear from my lawyer in the morning. Oh, I shall appeal to a higher court now. Will you uh, get me my lawyer, please? There is no appeal. You've lost your case. How do you plead mitigating circumstances? It's like I got a wooden leg. No, it's something psychological. Like I'm a mixed-up kid. I am. Will you help me to a better life? I might. Yeah, well, will you help me up these steps to your flat and make me a cup of coffee? No, I will not. No, you will not. Shall I call you tomorrow, then? I, I mean today. Hmm. Do you know the number? It's emblazoned on my heart. Just how do you know the number? Cobra and I were friends for a time. And? Blew me out. I had a fool for a while, but she tumbled me. Do you think you will? I wonder. If you really want to know, she wanted to go up in the world, not down. Oh, what about me? Are you going to drag me down? Down 
and down onto a featherbed of love. Good night, Mr. Dexter. Good night, Miss Feathers. Ring off before you get there. Oh, never mind. They'll ring again. Want some tea? Yes, I'll put the kettle on if you get the letters. OK. This is Brian Matthews saying welcome to Saturday Club. Hello. Good morning. The night birds are staring at last. <laughs> oh, Pam, you should have been with us. It was great fun. Did you miss me? Inconsolably. Except I met a rather super young photographer. Ooh. Well, you wouldn't come with us. I couldn't, I. Well, you could have taken me to yours. Oh, hardly, love. It was not that sort of party. <laughs> I'm so behind this morning. Well, I'll tell you your shopping window. This is only half of it. I'm going again when Ivor comes. Who's Ivor? Friend of mine. Oh, is he nice? Well, some people don't like him. He's a bit unconventional, you know, and of course he's got the tongue of a demon. <laughs> that doesn't make friends and influence to people. Sounds clever. Oh, he is. Very. We work together. He's a buyer. Oh, I thought they were always women. No, not always. See you later. See you later. This Paddy's a good job. Yes, very. Friend over. I brought someone. Oh, that trip. Honestly, if all the men in the world were like that, I think I'd shoot myself. <laughs> like what? Oh, nothing. Hey, listen. Sue Rogers is marrying that awful boy Paul from Mansfield. Mansfield? Huh. Your father needn't have worried about her being a fallen woman. She's fallen on her feet. His family are loaded. I'm not going to paint. Right, where's the tea then? Well, I'm like a snake pit. Good morning, sweet prince. Oh, you are horrible. I'm sure men don't look as bad as that, do they? You look to know this one. Oh, look, don't ever go to me. Go and make some tea. All right, coming up almost immediately. See, some people like a fag first thing in the morning. I like tea. One pint of boiling hot tea. In you or over you? Charming. <laughs> oh, goodness, did she see in a horror like that? Who knows? My mother said I never should. Couldn't wait to get to the bloody gypsies. Sorry, Mary. Oh, no, darling, you're quite right. For some silly reason, I can't let him go. Up with wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and central heating. Bit extravagant. Exactly. And how about one of those old television sets? We could put a fish tank where the screen should be and everybody would try and switch them off. It's fabulous. It's an idea. Not bad, is it? What else did he go say? Just that. He'll let us know when the family clear out, or he'll tell Dee and she'll let us know. Good for Dee. She's a handy thing. And one needn't be too depressed about that part of volume. You know, it's going up like crazy. You can say that again. And it'll get you out of this madhouse. Oh, they're all right. Now, yeah, look, I know one of them's your sister, but not... No, I mean, they're not too bad. Now, why do you do that? Do what? You always disagree with me. Don't. Yes, you do. I mean, look, this isn't fair. Oh, I've had enough. I'm going out. And listen, listen. This is ridiculous. Look, I'll get this stuff away, then we'll go down the road and have a beer. OK? OK. OK. Well, go on, then. Oh, I want that. Well, you fell asleep thinking about me. Yes, that's right. So did you work? I fell asleep thinking about you, don't I? Well, nothing. Or was I there when you woke up? No. No, you weren't here either. Did you phone earlier? No, should I have done? Oh, well, somebody did and they hung up. No, it wasn't me. Do you like jazz? Yeah, I'm mad about it. And I can hear it in the background. It's super. Well, come round. We'll have a session. Why don't you bring it around here? No, it's uh, better here. I've got hi-fi. No, you come to me. What are you doing later on? Oh, shopping. This afternoon? Then more shopping. Well, can I pick you up tonight? 
Yes, if you like. Friday? Okay. Thank you. Oh, don't keep going on about it. I told you I'll make inquiries. Great, you're the cause of all the trouble, and now I'm in the wrong. Look, I can't charge into a chemist and buy it by the sackful. I've got to find out where to get the stuff. I've never been in a jam like this before. What about Evelyn? Oh, darling, you told me yourself. Look, I told You've got a short you, memory. I will make inquiries, and I will make inquiries, so stop going on about it. I've got other problems. In fact, I've got nothing but problems. I'm going out. Get out. Nick, I feel sick. Oh, forget it, darling. Nothing happened. They were going to beat you up. Maybe, but we didn't wait to find out. Why were they? Look, mine is a funny business. Funny? <laughs> Doesn't give me much of a laugh. You make enemies in every business, you. Anger beaten up? Stop it. Get out of it. Sell it off. You could make a go of anything. I have told you I'm getting out. The things can be wound up just like that. I'll make it soon. The occupational hazards are too much. Forget it. Come on. Here she comes. You're improving. Bye. 
Ryan. Yeah. Where are you, love? In the kitchen. Wait a sec. Hey, have you got any cigarettes? Yeah, in my bag in the bedroom. Nearly ready. I had to iron my dress. Oh, it's all right. Uh, there's no rush. Um, sorry about this morning. Yeah, me too. No more hours, eh? No more hours. Now look Spend all that time ironing my dress. Well, you're a mad impetuous fool, aren't you? How about some food? Chinese? Love some. Hey, but wait, what about your figure? Mm, maybe you're right. I know, I know the very place. What? My place. Oh, no, I'm not falling for that. How about a tuna sandwich, huh? Can I have a Chelsea bun to soak up there, too? Only you should say that I've just made a whole stack of Chelsea buns this afternoon. Then they'll be too fresh. Come on. I know the very place. <laughs> not again. Not your place. Today. Did you? Mm-hmm. He said, um, well, I'm truly pregnant. I see. Did you talk to him about uh, having a... about not going through with it? You touched on it. And? He said we should get married, make a go of things. Huh? <laughs> Marvellous, isn't it? Bloody doctors make me laugh. He thinks we should make a go of it. Did he tell you where we got the money from? The people seem to manage all right. I'm not interested in other people. First of all, we get some money. The married bliss can wait. What about you? How did your inquiries go? Oh, all right. At least I didn't get that nauseating spiel about making a go of it. The fellow will do it for 50 quid. Cash. 50 pounds? Where do we find 50 pounds? Why haven't you got any money? I get about three quid till the end of the week. Great, that's marvellous, isn't it? Hey, eh? I'm skinned. All my gears in hock, and you're good for three lousy quid. Oh, Prinny, what about my watch? Do you think we get a few pounds on that? Yeah, that's a nice enough watch. Pawnbroker's drawers are full of them. You got a few bob on it? Five at the most. We need fifty pounds. Hey, what about that brooch? The one your grandmother gave you? Oh, Prinny, I can't part with that. We're only hawking it. We'll, uh, 
Just have to save up our pennies and get it out again, will you? Look, Prinny, not the brooch. Gran gave it to me. It was her mother's before her. Look, darling, anything else but not the brooch. You haven't got anything else. Except a few bits of old tat. Now get it out. Look, I'll ask the girls for some money. They'll lend us some. The girls are as skint as we are. Give them advance on my salary, then. All right, so you get an advance on your salary. What are you going to live on for the next few weeks? Come on, get it out. Where is it? I said, where is it? In my bag. Don't worry, I've got this sorted out. Where are you going? I'm going to see a man about them. I'm going to see a man. Tell me, must you go tonight? Look, I've got to find somebody with that much ready cash. Not everybody carries that kind of money around with him, you know. Look, I'll your phone. Do it now. Is what my dad says? Do it now. Look, Penny, you... You're, you're cool? Yes, I'm cool. Don't worry. You leave me no choice. You blew out my bum. Oh, now you make me feel awful. Well, actually, darling, I'm kidding. I'm loaded. Oh, fine. I've suddenly got the most enormous appetite. You were uh, doffing the get stale, the buns. Eat them in bed tonight. I didn't tell you. I've got tins and tins of baked beans, tomato soup, lots of other delicacies. <laughs> Look, after you, Mr. Dexter. Oh, well. Tell me money. Nico, it's Prini here. Can I come in? I'm pretty busy. Is it important? Yes, it is, rather. OK, come up. Thanks. Hello, Prini. Come in. Hello, Nico. How are things? Fine, and you? Any improvement? Have a drink. Oh, uh, not too bad, you know, not too bad. One or two irons in the fire. Oh, uh, vodka, please. Tonic? Uh, yes, thanks, yes. What's the problem? <laughs> Why does there have to be a problem? All right. So it's a social court. Or are you peddling financial advice? How to make a fortune, etc. You're getting warmer. Go on, you're reaching me. You do yourself proud. It's very nice. We money plebeians can always buy good taste. I can. Like this? It's very pretty. Ben? Oh, come on, Nico. I'm no thief and you're no fence. Certainly I'm no fence. It's very pretty. It isn't the sort of stuff I usually go for, but... You're sure it's straight? I'm just doing somebody a favor. Plus commission. Well, you need the money. Uh, ready cash, that is. And, uh... Well, I thought you were the kind of chap that would have it to hand. I will give you a hundred for it, right? Oh, well, no, uh, wait a minute. Um... What's the matter, not enough? Well, no, it's not that. Uh, it's just that... Oh, um... come on, you had to sell it, aren't you? Well... Guinness, then. Hundred and five pounds. A hundred for your friend and a fire for you to spiel with, OK? OK, done. Cash? Sure. And you're five. Well, uh, another drinky? For the road. Fine. Help yourself. Thanks. So, this is the heart of the Stalmar Empire. 
Yes, this is where it all goes on. What about your house in Mill Hill? Have you still got that? Once got to keep a place to store the family. You're lucky to catch me here. I usually go there weekends. Yes, well, uh, I must be going. I'm very, what I mean is my client will be very great. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Nico. And uh, I'll be seeing you. I'm afraid so. Bye-bye. Turn it off, darling. You have had enough. Can one have enough? Moderation and all things. Oh, that's priceless coming from you. Shall I make you a drink? Not just now, thanks. Who was it? Just a fellow. Ah. Oh. Close your eyes. Now. What's the matter? Where did you get it? But don't you like it? I know it. It's Marion's. About the only thing she's got that's worth a damn. I see. She'd never sell it. It's been in her family for ages. It was Prinny, wasn't it? Yes. The little swine. He must have stolen it. You want to give it back to her? Mm-hmm. You are a darling. If only people knew. She'll make it up to you. I'll help. It's only money. I will fix the prince one day. Say you found it on the floor or something. You don't have to tell her what a louse he is. You know, I adore you. Do you? Fait for jeu. S'il vous plaît, monsieur. Try 13. Why? It's about due. So is Christmas. Well, they're both certainties. Well, we'll see, shall we? Thank you. We have a proof. Lucky us. Go. Well, let's, uh, Charles, let's go and play with the big boys, shall we? Why not? What have we got to lose? My shirt and your chemise. Come on. <laughs> Fremantle 2602. Hello, Marion. It's me. Hello, Angie. Listen, has George phoned? No, should he have? No, he's supposed to meet me at the bistro, that's all. He hasn't shown up. I've been in all evening expecting a call myself. He hasn't phoned. Oh, well. There's plenty more trout in the tank. Yeah, as they say. Yeah. OK, well, have a good time. Bye, darling. Right, thanks. Bye. Sankalski, merci, monsieur. Well, they've changed my luck, not before time. Vincent Lee, Van Bank. Marquis Voges, Banco. Getting a bit thin. It's only money. Another 25. Sorry, sir. Can't leave. I'm back. Long Well, thanks for the dinner. Pleasure, madam. You just cleaned me out, that's all.
Don't go in yet. You bohemians are too much for me. Don't you ever sleep? Sometimes. I'm a country girl. Early to bed, early to rise. Uh, what should we do tomorrow? Huh? I think I'd better not see you tomorrow. Why not? Well, I've got things to do for Monday. And you know, last night when I said I didn't want to sleep with you. Yes. Well, I do. Of course I do. Do you? Well, that's the silly thing. I mean, you you tell a girl you do, and you're very likely to get your face slapped. You tell her you don't, and, and she thinks you're a right Charlie. I don't think you're a Charlie. I mean, surely every girl wants you to want to, even though she doesn't want to. At least that's what I think. Well, I think you think too much. Ring me tomorrow. And what time? I'll be in all day. Good night. Good night, Miss Feathers. Save my place for me. Sure, please. Don't run off now. He's doing his dough. Have this one on me. Thank you. Thank you. Can I see you for a minute? No. Au Japon. You're going in a bit strong, aren't you? Double strong. <laughs> Don't worry, I can cover it. I only hope you can, brother. That's my 80. And a score for you to punt with. Thanks. I'm choked. I thought you'd sign him H-R-H. <laughs> the Prince of the Ponces. <laughs> oh, no. Prince Charming, at least. Good luck, lover. How can I lose with you on my side? <laughs> OK, come on, let's play. Right. But no more kites. Makes me nervous. There you go, you got it again. <laughs> Come on, love. <laughs> Let's go back to my gun. Do us all a favor, darling. Drop dead. <laughs> Milk, sugar, one lump or two. Just a titch of milk and one lump of sugar, one big one. I'm trying to give it up. No big ones. You'll have two small ones and put up with it. So fussy. Give us a kiss for Christmas. I should think so. I don't know where you've been, do I? <laughs> It's a pity to waste it. Oh, do that, Pat. I could do with some company. Well, love. You're feeling a bit down in the dumps? A bit. I always wonder why I came to this lousy town. <laughs> You're the type. You'd have come to London if it had meant swimming the wash. Is it white, Pat? It'd be such a lonely place. Oh, no. No, I nearly married a boy at home. He was a nice kid. He'd have done anything for me, but I had to see life. So? You've seen it. Go back and marry him. I can't. He got married already to a friend of mine. They got a baby now. I pretend to envy me, the sweet life kid. The other side of the fence? Cheer up, love. There's another fella for you kicking around someplace. There is. Oh, not that prince, but some young chap. Hey, wake up this morning, shuffle about, make a pot of tea, burn a toast, all that bit. 
And he's thinking to himself, where the hell is she? My girl, my wife. She must be around here somewhere. And there you are, idling in bed, smoking a bag when you should be up, cooking bacon, eggs, fried bread. Come on, come on, I'll get in bed, you <laughs> And now, Easy Beat Features released. So, where are you? I'm out here. What are you doing out there? I'm meant to be doing my exercises. I brought you some tea. Oh, lovely. Oh, what are you doing up so early? Well, I hate lying in bed. Once I'm awake, I like to be up and doing. Mm, me too. Oh, that's enough of that. You have to get up early during the week. No, but I do. You're going to help me with the Sunday lunch later on. Ah, I'd love to. There's a good girl. Can anybody fancy a movie or a game of cards? I can't. I've got to get ready. Nico's going to take me for a driving lesson. Get her. All right, I'll play. Deal me in, but I warn you, I'm a very bad loser. <laughs> oh, hey, that's him. I'm not nearly ready. Tell him to come up. Perhaps we can take him for a couple of bucks. <laughs> it's not him. It's Keith for you, Sal. But I'm not seeing him today. Hmm, that's what you think. <laughs> oh, hello. Come on, we're off to the country. I thought you said you were going to phone me. Decided to put in a personal appearance. You need some fresh air. And I'm not made up or anything. He says he don't need makeup. He says he looks super. Oh, he's lovely. Whose is he? Mum's. I went home for lunch. He, uh, he says he loves you too. OK, give me five minutes. Oh, there we are. The sun will go in. Do you mind if I run out on you? Mm-hmm. He's giving you the full treatment. Don't you mind? Yeah. Well, friend, nice. What's the game? What's the game, Your Highness? I suppose not. Knock, knock. What's that? A bouncing check. Whatever, silly. It's Sunday today. The banks don't open till Monday morning. Monday morning, ten o'clock. The rumor is that you haven't got a light. You're as skinned as a Fulkney rabbit. You shouldn't go carting around like that, you naughty boy. Listen, I can cover it. Uh, no, let me turn around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and see my mother. And my mother's gonna um, fix We've it all up. Heard all that before. No, let me finish. And the form is, you're gonna get a little pressure. No, I want to. Let me finish. Well, what are we going to do, Sally? Do you think you love me, Keith? Well, it's all a bit new to me, but it's certainly the first time my chat's got me nowhere. I wish I hadn't asked you that night. Well, I wish I hadn't answered you now like that. Now, give us a kiss and say you're sorry. I'm sorry? I do love you, you know, Sally, you know I do. It's just that I don't believe it. I could love you so much. Please don't make it easy for me. Hmm. You must have had your own way an awful lot. Just like that, eh? Now, I want to take you just like that. I saw some pictures once, you know. It was uh, some birds just after they'd made love. Beautiful. It was... Uh, Something in the eyes, you know? Are you a good photographer? Well, better than anything else. Can you make a go of it on your own? Hmm? Well, it's uh, all coming together now. But uh, getting a studio is the hard bit, you know? And most of the people you get a chance to photograph are a bit square. <laughs> Am I a bit square? Oh, no. You're all round and curvy. Am I going to see a lot more of you, then? Eh? Why not take the risk of asking for a date? What do you mean, the risk? Well, the risk of being turned on. Tuesday night, then? Um... No? 
Yes. Blimey, the dog had forgotten all about him. Obviously doesn't know how to handle these fellows. I remember one day at Brand's Hatch, these fellows had a terrible tussle with me. This chap came charging it. And That's I a shame it. about old Prinny, but there you are. If you will go in at the deep end. Not the first time either. Oh, well, see you, love. Yeah, bye-bye. I say, is there a party tonight somewhere? I don't think so. Have you heard of anything? Nothing I'd care for. What a bore this weekend is. Um, I say, like another. Yes, please. Whiskey or Irish. Your season ticket. I didn't know you lived in Bromley. Just a refuge. <laughs> I live in town, but there's nowhere to park the old bus. <laughs> I get it. Good. <laughs> uh, could I have a pint of bitter and a... Miss, I say... <laughs> Hello, Angie. Hi, Angie. Oh, look, there's a party at my place later on. You're going to come? Yeah, it's great. Good. But uh, don't bring Mr. Auto Sport with you, eh? Joking. Okay, see you, doll. <laughs> Here we are, the old uh, libido loosener. <laughs> and I find the best bit for myself. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. So? So I couldn't find him. It's but last night. Last night I thought I could, but I couldn't. Prinny, it seemed when you dashed off like that. Look, I'll try again tonight. There's someone else I've got to see, somebody who's expected back. Tonight? I suppose you'll call me again tonight. Look, I've just told you, I was up till two o'clock looking for this chap. Now, don't go on at me, for God's sake. Do you have the brooch on you? Well, of course not. I didn't carry it around with me. Back at my place. Quite safe, then? Hmm. Tucked away. Good. Look, I've got enough. We've got enough on our mind without worrying about a bloody brooch. Go on, eat food. You fool. Poor, silly, self-deluding fool. How, um... How... D returned it this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I should have, um... Yes, you should have. You were too greedy to see more than one step ahead, to see anything but all that beautiful money. Listen, it would have been all right if I'd won. Would have sold everything. The abortion, everything. Did you win? You know, I was dead unlucky. You know, I was 300... Had you got anything left? No, nothing. You realize what you were doing, don't you? You're putting me on that gambling table. Well, you lost. And you lost me, too. Come on, man. Yeah. Don't you know what you've done? I loved you. I'd have done anything for you. Look, look you don't know the trouble I'm in. I'm in up to here. Still. How? With this? Why not? Look, I won't. I, you don't have to give it to me. I won't even touch it. Listen, Stop I can take it. I think it's bad enough not loving anymore. Don't disgust me, please. Why, after all this time? Yes, after all this time. Mm. 
Don't worry about the abortion. I'm going to have the baby. But I won't need you or anyone like you. What about me? What am I going to do for the money? which was the break of the accelerator. He thought his beautiful car was going in the ditch. Why didn't you let him then? Oh, he grabbed the wheel for a change. She, she can go to driving school. Let us send them mad. Oh, darling, don't say I sent you mad. I thought I did quite well. Nico, what do I do with my ring? Oh, darling, you kind of lost it. It must be somewhere. You never take it off except in the bar. Oh, I know what I did with it. I took it off to drive. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. 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 How was the walk, and uh, where's the harm? Oh, the walk was simple, and we took the dog back to Keith's mother. Oh, uh, for taking her a bit now? Uh-huh. <laughs> Shall we dance? Speaking of the magazines, I love. Night, darling. Go straight home. Why don't you move out of here? Who'd know if you moved into my flat? If I moved from here, Mother would be down on the first train. As long as I'm living here with the girls, I'm okay. But if I moved... Mommy might get to know you mix with shady characters. How will you explain the Mini Cooper? Say it's not mine. A chap in the guards lent it to me. Well, you won't have to cover for me much longer. I'm getting out of slum property. I'm bored with it anyway. And when you go respectable, you're going to get a divorce and make me respectable too? Sure. <laughs> make it sound as if it's the most important thing in the world. Well, so it is to me. Come on, you should realize how incomplete you are. On the contrary, I will never be as complete again. Well? Now, no traps. Would be. I 
I mean, you've got to help me. Penny, what do you... Look, there's nobody else, Penny, I, there's do... nobody else I can go to. Penny, These fellas are coming after me. They're going to cut me up in little pieces. Cut me up Penny, in little pieces. Penny, I don't care what's going to... Listen, I, I don't... Listen. Okay, I'll do anything you want. Anything. Penny, anything I at don't all. care what is going to happen. We're through. We're finished. Do you understand? Please, Marion, please let me in. Penny, I'm not letting you. Let me in, you bitch! Look, if I don't stop now, how can I ever stop? Hello, young lovers. Just having a bit of a chip, that's all. Not to worry, eh? Why do so many girls fall for the completely, utterly wrong man? Men often do the same. Do they? Sure. And we could start up the whole damn thing. We could be happy, normal people, dunking babies in the front left, right and centre. But of course we won't. It's too... it's too easy. Look, I don't want to rush to the altar. I want to try for a career. Sally, I love you. Now, now, I'm a bloody fool. I'm going to spoil everything, but I must go to bed with you. Look, why must we rush things? I think I love you, but... Sally, I promise you, this is not just another affair for me. When I met you, I knew you were the girl I'd always dreamt. And I know it's corny, but it's true. I wonder. It's true. Well, then you must wait for me. It's not as easy as that. Sex is like a drug, and I can't kick it that easily. Supposing you do go on with your modeling course. But wait. But wait. I got on my mind. The birds will be falling off the trees, and I'll jack it in. I know, well, I'm like that, but I do love you. Well, if you can't wait, you'd better settle for the birds. Now, Sally, wait. something you wanted to talk. It's nothing. Sally, we've got to have this out. I don't want you looking at me as if I was a... Uh, Look, I won't, I won't, Paddy, but not now. I'm very tired. Good night, Sally. Good night. You know, you sound like a girl I once knew. Before I came to London. Real girlfriend. Steady. We danced, went about. I used to take her home, goodnight kiss, all that bit. But she wanted more. I couldn't. I just couldn't. So we didn't see each other anymore. And I came to London. I met Ivor. And everything sort of fell into place. That's it, really. In a nutshell. I know, Paddy. So? It's Keith, isn't it? Mm. He thinks I'm an iceberg or something. I don't know. I'm not used to the pace. You are not an iceberg. He'll be back. If he really cares, he'll be back. Off to bed now. You start your new life tomorrow. I was going to be so good and get lots of rest and start tomorrow as fresh as the day. So what are you waiting for? Bed. Very good, kind sir. Paddy. Wish I'd been your first girl. Nika's car.
picture. That's plain enough. We're here on behalf of, uh, of your tenants. Well, don't tell me. My little rent pay has got you to give me talking to. I know the scene. You're just full of chat. And you'll need some to get yourself out of this bit of bother. I've been expecting you, Burks, for months. Oh? I've been in the game long enough. How much? You couldn't afford us. Oh, I mean a lot. You're all wishing the others weren't here. So you could haggle. What's all the talk? We got him, and he's not going to lip his way out of it. Well, come on, then. You got away last night, but there are no Alsatian dogs this time. No knuckle men. You're strictly on your own. That's right. <laughs> I just want one good look at you, because I'm going to remember. Now, we couldn't go bursting in in your place at this time of night. What would Mrs. Stalmar say? What are things like at your place? Have you got light and heat, or is somebody putting the squeeze on you? Pity really about this. Still, I expect you've got another one. Good stuff. And made, eh? Don't worry, I have to hunt us like it. You'll need them. We can keep going for a long, long time. Go and have a look out front. Then she will. Oh, Nick, I love you. What are you? Yours. You're mad. No, I'm not. I'll never leave you. I don't care about anything anymore. What if I grow old? Or go broke? Never. If you want me to come and live in your flat, I will. I want to know. 
night, I knew what losing you would mean. I'll get the nurse. She told me to if you woke. You really think? Another visitor, his wife. Hello. Can we have an extra half a pint, please? Uh, yes, certainly, my dear. Every day. Yes, please. You've got a new lodger. Right. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plains. Patrick, do leave off. <laughs> Wait. Have a good day, Paddy. You too, Sally. <laughs> Morning, girls. Hello. Hello. Show up the service. Big deal. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, first day and all that, I thought you might get lost. What happened to the birds? Birds? Oh, the birds fly away in the winter. Too bloody cold here. Get out of it. Thank you. 